Hello, welcome back to Coffee Talk. We are on Friday, October 2nd, 2020. Let's jump right in, shall we? Oh. The evening whispers is with the people for stricter gun laws. New healthier fury sedative might be available sooner. An action video game rising hell. Blamed for violence in school. Ah, it's always the video games that are blamed. Isn't it? <gasps> Welcome. Baileys! Good evening, Mr. Baileys. Evening. Am I the first customer tonight? You are. That's new. I haven't seen Baileys in forever. Freya's not here. She said she's coming later tonight. I don't remember what voice I gave Baileys, so I guess this is his voice now. Got something to do with meeting some fellow rider friends. Why not do it here? It's her favorite place, right? Her friends have visited this place from time to time. Just not as much as her. Right is gathering her. I wonder what Right is talking about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know. If she said they're friends, it means they're just hanging out normally. But if she said they were right of friends, they're probably talking about work. Either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts, or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting up. Oh, it's, it's not like that. She doesn't even realize that's what she says. I just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. Are you always so observant? It's part of the job. Why's that? People come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others, but their body language can be loud and clear. I can tell you a lot of things, whether they need a friendly ear or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well. Because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. That's deeper than I would have thought. So, what are you reading from me now? I won't say. Why? That would break the charm. <laughs> the hell was that? I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers, it's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Including our interaction now? Including our interaction now. Man. Now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate with ginger and cinnamon. I heard that's a good drink for a bitter heart. How do I do hot chocolate with ginger and cinnamon? That's what he said, right? a bit of heart okay here you go did i learn any drink i guess i did yep bit of heart shadows that will help you try to hide dude hmm you're a pretty romantic person huh spending extra time decorating this drink only for special people and special drinks say roshi tell me about yourself what do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? Old enough to open a coffee shop. <laughs> oh man. I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright. But that's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder. What should I ask next? <gasps> Who is it? Oh, Freya? Hello everyone. Why are you both looking at me like that? Freya, you look horrible. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. What happened? You'd be better asking what didn't happen. Because the answer would be 
proper sleep. And decent progress on my draft. You need to rest. I miss my deadline? Hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company. Because I have to finish this thing. And for that, I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Are you sure about that? You really should just rest. Get something to help you sleep. Espresso! Please. Okay. She does not look good. I don't want to do this. You really need to have a rest, Freya. Just give me the damned espresso. <sighs> okay. Ah, this will keep me from falling asleep. Ah, uh, how was the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice, but that also means things, and not a small number of them, mind you, need to be rewritten. Oh. Oh. That's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that it's just... I'm gonna in my usual corner. Thanks to your coffee. It might make it through the night. Thanks to your coffee, I might make it through the night. Freya might. I won't, clearly. She looks horrible. She does. But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this? No. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. So, what brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. I had no plan tonight, and this place just came to mind. Out of the blue. I have to thank your subconscious then. I guess you should. Oh, another customer. <gasps> Lua! Oh no. Not sure whether I should thank it or not though. Hi Lua. Hi Baileys. How? How? Oh, no. You first. No, you first. I was just going to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. <sighs> I think I need to order something first. Oh, of, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Roshi. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. Okay. So ginger cinnamon coffee? I see you also brought your uh, trusty ashtray. Coffee, cinnamon, and ginger. Let's try that. No. So, coffee, ginger, cinnamon. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. It reminds me of when I was growing up with my family. How's work? It's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs on at the moment. Because... Well, you know. Yeah. I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very lure thing to ask. <laughs> but yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job. It went well in the end? Kinda did. They paid me on time, at least. And the pay was amazing. 
How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Till my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? I'll tell you this. But don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Roshi, who's standing in front of us? Not even Roshi. Okay. So there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. But I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new, but somehow things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired. Knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. But I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway? Baileys? I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as professional as her, you see. <laughs> I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I put on a lot of masks. Just to hide the feelings I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. What's next for us, Baileys? I don't know, Lua. I... I met some new people this week. Including that supermodel. You knew? That girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. What? You said a lot of things that I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. He's a bit like you, you know. Attitude-wise. Get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard that before? A lot. From a certain hipster elf. <laughs> and after listening to that guy, what's your stance on? You know, us. I'm not sure, Baileys. What about you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire and I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds indeed? What did your werewolf say? Hmm. Not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Baileys. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting me to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was it? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. And I actually want to do that anyway. For myself. You know me, Baileys. I do. And you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families? Which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. What should we do? Lua. Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do, after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people. Sounds great. You'll live a long time. But you won't have the perfect health and perfect life. That's the elven privilege. But it's not a perfect life without you. What if our relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. 
we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for ten years. It made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Baileys. I... I believe in you. <gasps> What's happening? Are they making out? Kiss her! <sighs> oh. Yay! Lua. Paley's. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. It seems so. So what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first? It'll be alright. Well, they never forbade you from dating other races. They're not big fans of elves, that much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow, but we can think about it. And anything else, later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I have my doubts. But now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua. Thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Huh? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. <gasps> is her roommate Aqua? Wait. Is her roommate Aqua? Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Roshi. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See you. Thank you for coming. Was her is her roommate Aqua? That's mm, small world. Oh my God, Freya! You actually look normal. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in real world. I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I have to see their struggle through till the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's gold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... What is this? so welcome sir are you crazy you can't treat a werewolf in a fury like a normal customer trust me he must have his reasons for coming here you can relax sir do you need anything something to calm you down maybe what the hell was It's not going to let me look at my phone to check. No. Ah, oh, shit. What was it? Um, I know it was tea, right? And ginger. It has something to do with ginger. Um, was it ginger milk? 
No, it wasn't cinnamon. Tea, ginger, milk. I think. I could be wrong. It comes up with Gala's remedy, right? No, that's wrong. Okay, um, try the other way. Tea, milk, ginger. I know it had ginger and milk and was tea, but I can't remember if it was green tea or... God! Yep, that's it. Okay, okay, okay. Here's your... Is there like a thing like, what if I didn't serve him that? Oh my God, what would have happened? Okay, girl. Oh man. What the hell? Is that really him? After seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Well, whoever he is. This place survived. Thankfully, yes. But I think I need to close up shop early. Yeah, I think so too. Holy crap. Don't want to cause any more ruckus. And I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care on your way back. I think she'd be wide awake after that. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See ya. Jesus. My partner just got home and I can't let him hear me. It's embarrassing. Bye.